Learning how to program has come a long way since I was a kid. In fact, just under 30 years ago, I was learning BASIC on this very Amstrad, in fact, with such classics as 10, print hello, 20, go to 10. But nowadays, kids have a lot more options open to them, and learning how to program has never been more fun. The Robo Wunderkind kits aim to teach the fundamentals of programming without actually touching any code, and they throw in a bit of cool robotics to the mix. Let's take a closer look at what's in the kit. So this generation of the Robo Wunderkind kits are available now. However, the company is currently kickstarting the next generation of the kits. So if this review does pique your interest, I would strongly suggest that you check out the link in the description to the Kickstarter and consider backing their new project, which brings a range of new features, new control blocks, and an entirely new app. So there's actually two different Robo Wunderkind kits available. There's the starter kit and the educational pack, which we have here. The starter pack is 180, while the educational one retails for around 250 euros. So the starter kit does include everything you need to connect up with the programming apps and to build a controllable robot. So that's the main body, the module, the communications device with two motors and wheels, uh, a small back wheel, all manner of connector bits, plus an RGB LED and push button. The education kit then adds in a distance sensor, a servo module, which is a more precisely controlled motor, and a flexible block connector cable, as well as another connector brick. So to really get into the fundamentals of programming, I think you're going to want the education kit purely because it gives you some more options in terms of input. Rather than just waiting for a user button press, you can then pull the distance sensor and get that constant input to decide what your robot should do next, such as obstacle avoidance. You're gonna need the education pack if you want to do that. That said, there is also an upgrade kit. So if you do decide to buy the starter kit first and then want to expand to add in those extra modules, you can do that too. Also, in both versions of the kit, you'll find some LEGO compatible blanking plates. Now, these serve to both protect the electrical contacts on the parts of the robot that you're not using, and also as a perfect base to customize your robot. So one quirk I'll mention now is that although we had the education kit to review, which includes the servo module, neither of the apps that you can download actually have any designs for a robot that makes use of that servo module. So it does kind of seem to be a bit useless at first. However, when I later downloaded the curriculum that's associated with the education kit, the design for teachers full sort of 10, 20 lesson curriculum, it does in fact go into detail about the servo module and have a project for how to use it. So you'll absolutely want to do that if you get the full education kit. Interacting with and programming your robot is done through two distinct and separate apps called Robo Live and Robo Code, which communicate with the robot using Bluetooth from a phone or tablet. Each app includes a set of robot designs you can build with pre-made dashboard and programming templates, or you can start new projects from scratch and build however you like. RoboLive is perhaps the better place to start for younger users, as it gives you live remote control of your robot using a customizable dashboard. So once you understand the purpose of the different modules though, you'll probably want to head on over to RoboCode, where I think the real fun happens. RoboCode has five included robot designs, from a flashlight to an obstacle avoiding robot. And once that robot's built, you're presented with a graphical state machine that acts as the robot's programming. All you need to do is connect the states together, determine the transition conditions, then press go. One really neat feature is that you'll get live updates as the robot progresses through the various states. So you can tell exactly what it's doing right now. And if it looks like your robot is stuck on a particular state, you can start to think about why. Now, while I don't think it'll be hard for your average make use of viewer or geeky parent to follow along with your child, I do think the apps could have benefited greatly from a simple tutorial or walkthrough that show you exactly how each of the modules work and what they do. Or at the very least, a series of videos that just walk you through the app 
and how to connect together states and what each of them does. When I was testing with my five-year-old son, it really felt a little bit trial and error, which is fine for me as a programmer. I naturally understood what most of the functions that it could do were and how you could set up those transitions from one state to another. But if you're not familiar with that sort of coding paradigm, then you may find it a little bit difficult and it could definitely benefit from a little bit more hand-holding, I felt. However, I should note that that's something that their current Kickstarter is aiming to address. They have definitely taken that feedback on board and in the new unified app, there'll be a coding saga, sort of learning journey, in which you can go through and learn the fundamentals of programming in a more structured way. The Robo Wonderkind kits are aimed at six-year-olds and up. However, as mentioned, I tested with my five-year-old son and he seemed to have no problems clicking all the parts together. When it came to actually programming the robot, he was fine with live remote controlling using the Robo Live app. However, understandably, RoboCode was a little bit more complicated and needed a lot more hand-holding there. Most of the time when left to his own devices, he just wanted to know how to make it play different sounds. This was before I discovered there is in fact an entire teaching curriculum that you can download for free. And I would strongly suggest you do that if you buy this kit because it offers a real structure and lesson plan to follow through. That said, it would have been nice to have that sort of lesson plan in a printed form in the box, even in an abridged form. Now, while I'm really impressed with the RoboCode app, I should mention that it's quite different to what your child might be familiar with if they're learning how to program at school already. If they do already have some programming experience at school, it's likely using MIT's Scratch program, which is a graphical programming software where you drag blocks of code into a sequence. Now, while you will be able to achieve pretty much the same results in RoboCode as anything they've done in Scratch, the way you go about it is quite different. State machines, as represented in RoboCode, are, I think, a much better way of representing control flow within a program. Scratch is more of a nice midway point between actual written code and graphical programming. Just dragging blocks on is a pretty easy concept to understand. However, once you add in variables and conditional statements, Scratch can get a little bit messy, I think. So in that regards, the RoboCode app is superior to Scratch, I think. On the other hand, the graphical state machine representation of RoboCode is one step further away from actual written coding. But I will say that as a programmer, in terms of first start and learning how to program, I do think this graphical way of representing state machines is a better way to instill those sort of fundamental programming concepts. The actual written code can always come later. In fact, if you have done a computer science degree or are thinking about it, then you will at some point learn state machines, probably in your first year of study. So is the Robo Wunderkind kit and RoboCode app the perfect introduction to programming for six-year-olds and up? Yes, I think it is. The robot designs are really easy for even six-year-olds to snap together simply, and it's all customizable with Lego. However, this first generation Robo Wunderkind kit is not perfect. There are some issues with the disparate apps and I would strongly suggest that you download that curriculum and spend some time going through it if you're considering buying this kit. Alternatively, do consider backing their new Kickstarter project. They do seem to have taken a lot of the feedback on board about their first generation kit and made some upgrades as well as some smaller design upgrades to the basic components. They've also added some new hardware pieces like an LED matrix, motion sensor, and line following sensor. And they're developing a new single app called the Robo Universe, which brings together the disparate RoboCode and Robo Live apps, as well as adds in new coding possibilities with Robo Blockly which is a scratch-like block programming app for when you're ready to stick up to the next level with your coding. On top of that, they're developing an Arduino and Python API for real coding. Then there's the RoboCoding Saga, which will be the new learning journey for the kit. 
So that will be very welcome. Now, of course, it is a Kickstarter, so these things are still under active development and the delivery date may change. However, I am confident that since they already have a product out, this new Kickstarter will actually be delivered. There's not too much of a risk in backing it. The new full kit can be yours with a lot more components and modules for $250, or they also have, again, a smaller starter kit. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope it has helped you to make your mind up about the Robo Wunderkind robotics kits and possibly to back their new Kickstarter. If you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. We would really appreciate that. And do consider subscribing for more weekly tech reviews, gadget giveaways, tutorials, and more from all of us at makeuseof.com. Until next time. Oh, before you go, the kind folks over at Robo Wunderkind have given us another of these educational robotics kits to give away to one lucky viewer. To be in with a chance of winning, just head on over to the link in the description or go to makeuseof.com slash giveaways. At the end of the full written review, you'll find a competition widget. Just pop your details in there to be in with a chance of winning. And when it asks you for a video bonus code, type RoboCoder, all one word, to get some bonus entries. Competition closes in about four weeks and the winner will be notified by email. So please add competitions at makeuseof.com to your address book to make sure our email doesn't go into spam. Thanks for watching, good luck, and we'll see you next time.